few weeks back i built this pc for just 5000 rupees and you guys loved that video and showed crazy response so thank you so much guys but now it's the ultimate test can this cheap pc actually handle all triple a games so let's check out so to all my new audience this is the specification of this computer this has i5 3470 processor yes it's from intel and this also has 8 gb ram along with 256 gb sata ssd so i hope this helps so first i thought let's test cyberpunk 2077 on this grandma pc and then boom it didn't work what was i even expecting it just kept throwing random errors next up spiderman miles morales and wow it didn't work yes so the computer did not even run the games random errors again it straight up said direct x12 not detected all hopes gone at this point guys the cpu is so old that even msi afterburner refused to open man msi afterburner didn't open on this pc so just imagine how old is this cpu but then i tried gta 5 and to my surprise The game actually launched and I set it to 720p resolution with normal graphics preset and luckily it ran. It was actually giving 13 fps. I mean that's very bad. But honestly for a 5000 rupees PC I appreciate it. Then came Forza Horizon 4. Surprisingly the game launched. But you know what? The game started lagging in the loading screen itself. It took almost 30 minutes to load to the menu. <laughs> This PC was giving 4 fps. in 4004 in loading screen so at that point i thought if 4004 itself can't run then there is no point even trying for the horizon 5 i dropped my thought instantly and turned off my pc <laughs> So the next game I played is Valorant. Here's a funny part. So I had to install Windows 10 on this PC. So before this PC was having Windows 11 Lite and it was running good. But you know what? When I tried to install Valorant on this Windows 11 Lite, so it was asking me to enable TPM and Secure Boot option. Sadly, this PC doesn't have all those options because it is like very old processor very old motherboard so i had to switch to windows 10 so i installed windows 10 on this pc and i also installed valorant again to my surprise the game did run so we set it to 900p resolution with very low preset well the pc was giving around 25 to 30 fps which is great the game was playable but the graphics looked terrible i mean it was too bad but still the game was playable so i appreciate it then i tested red dead redemption 1 idr1 not idr2 idr1 Again no luck while well, the game didn't launch it just threw an error moving on to tom raider game of the year edition this game did launch to my surprise the game launched guys without any errors but it took lot of time to load to the main menu and after that what i did i set it to 900p resolution with very low preset the fps was 14.3 I mean not even 15 fps 14.3 fps in Tom Raider Game of the Year edition it was not playable guys so 14 fps if you are comfortable playing in 14 fps then of course you can proceed so i also tried minecraft and the game did launch so it was giving less than 20 fps in 900p resolution which is not at all playable so here's my final verdict if you pair this cpu with a decent graphics card like gt 610 710 1030 1030 or something like that then at least you will get Get some good FPS in these kind of games. I mean, not in modern games, but still, game will be playable than before. So don't even think of running GTA 6 or Cyber 2077 on this PC, even after pairing graphics card. So it won't, guys. So don't even think. So I strongly recommend. not to buy this pc for gaming purpose well who's this pc for so if you are someone who wants to do some basic work web browsing watching videos music and some of the basic work then this pc is definitely yours you can definitely buy this pc so there's no issues with that but for those who wants to play game you should definitely avoid this pc setup so that's all for today guys if this video helped you hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel so we are building one of the biggest tech community in couple of years so i want you guys to subscribe to support us so that was all about it guys good bye